Hey everybody, Joel, ImportSauce.com, and today we are showing you uh, the next segment in the T5 Ultimate Engine Rebuild. This is going to be not necessary, not something you have to do, but we're going to show you what we did in terms of cleaning these parts uh, and also doing some painting. So for example, all the brackets that are going back on have been cleaned and prepped and texture painted. Um, all of our bolts have been one by one cleaned and uh, thread by thread, tagged and bagged, ready for that. Um, and then just kind of generally getting everything back ready uh, to go back in. So stick around and we're going to show you our process, what we did, and some of the things that we have, um, you know, to, to burn some time while we're waiting for the machine shop. Okay, everybody, so uh, we're still waiting for a machine shop. Hopefully this week we will have everything back. They said four weeks or so. That would be a couple days from now, but we're not going to call and harass them. We're going to let them do their work, right? We have tons of stuff. To do. So what I want to do is show you kind of what we do in the, same, in the meantime. Same thing we did with the M66 swap. So we have all the bags and everything that came off. Turbo just came off today, that was the last piece. We've already started cleaning this up, but before we got too far, I just wanted to kind of show you what we do, right? So at this point, part by part, what we do is we look at the old part, and I'll just show you an example here. Oil pump, right? And we unbox and we visually compare to everything, you can look at part numbers here, everything matches, everything looks good. Then we wanna pay attention to all the notes that we made in terms of seals for each of these parts, right? So uh, we had the rear main seal, which went in there. Um, we have a uh, gasket to block. It looks like here, there's a gasket there as well. Um, so the part looks the same. Uh, and we also have the uh, the seal there. So it looks like the new pump came with the seal. It came with the gasket uh, O-ring there. Um, we have the new rear main, replaces that one. And then we bought this uh, kit, uh, which is the complete gasket kit for this. It comes with the new uh, insert seal, the seal for the outside, as well as importantly, the uh the paperish gasket that goes on the back so it looks like uh these other two will be extra because this one already came with it but um you know it's better to spend an extra dollar or two and get these than to rather uh if this pump did not have the uh the push-in seal and the o-ring um and you don't pay attention and you don't see that there's something on there and you stick something back and you have a leak. So we've already started going through stuff and we've seen even with our, uh, it's not up here, the thermostat housing. We bought a thermostat, but then we saw there was a thermostat in it. Same thing here, we're gonna open this up. Uh, I don't think there's a filter in there, but it's genuine Volvo, there might be. So we're already kind of stacking up right now some extra parts uh, that we're gonna have, but essentially that's what we do. We compare one by one. The four bolts that hold this go into our hot tank. They soak and then we pull them out, we toothbrush them, uh, we degrease them, and then we run our thumbnail through each thread of each bolt. And then when we're done, uh, we don't have our finished bolts here, but it looks something like uh, a final bag where we tag it, we put it all together, and then we stick it in our done pile, which is downstairs. Uh, so we're gonna continue to move through all of this stuff that we have here and uh that will uh bring us uh you know ready to bolt everything back on also with uh brackets and things of that nature uh hard tubes uh we're throwing them under the table we already have a pile that will get scuffed primered sanded painted cleared uh and so that'll be uh, another part of what we're doing in terms of kind of just, uh, you know, cleaning all this stuff up and getting it ready to go back on. 
Okay, so aside from all the bolts that we clean one by one, we are now going to degrease uh, all of these components. Um, obviously, we didn't bring the clutch out. We're not going to spray any chemicals on that, but anything that's pretty much solid metal is going to get both a degrease and also a um, pressure wash if needed, and then a final degrease. A lot of these brackets will end up being texture painted black. So uh, this is just another part of the process where we need to clean everything um, that is going back in the engine bay because we want that thing to be spec and span. Okay, so we actually went ahead and when I got some super cleaning foam that uh, seemed to clean everything up and then with the pressure washer so all the brackets everything is looking good and ready for paint still a few piles of bolts and stuff that we're cleaning but everything else is looking good so we'll go ahead and give it an uh, alcohol scrub down and then uh, start painting some of these uh, various things uh, one by one Okay, our pile on the ground is getting a little smaller. Clean some axles, attack that turbo, clean up the rest of it. Here is everything done with paint. So we did the VHT uh, crinkle black, right? So we do have uh, paint dries with a little bit of texture on it. Um, and we have the new power flexes in everywhere. So all of this is done. We're ready to uh, let this stuff dry for a little while and then take it down. And uh, that's uh, everything for uh, bolt-on that is getting painted.